but we're going to talk about lead generation today. And I want to just kind of reflect on all of the things that I have done over the course of 20 years to generate leads. And you know that it is definitely my philosophy that there are 101 ways to make money in real estate, literally. I mean, if it isn't one thing, it's another, right? I mean, you, don't, you certainly don't have to limit yourself to simply buying and showing property. Uh, or, you know, or, you know, showing or selling or listing property. There are so many different things. Okay. So that's, that's one thing that's aside from the matter, but let's talk about lead generation. It seems like most agents that I see, okay, have a tendency to only focus on lead generation when they're not busy. Right. <laughs> and this unfortunately becomes the roller coaster ride, doesn't it? Right. You can't just focus on lead generation when you've got more time on your hands than you know what to do with, right? Theoretically, you want to try and obviously get something in place that's going to sustain your funnel, right? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? You want to put some systems, all right, in place that are going to feed you. Now, when you're first starting out, when you're first starting out, most agents look to their brokers, right? That's always the first step. Agents will look to their brokers for guidance, and they should, obviously, and for lead generation. You know, they expect to get some kind of leads because that's the pitch they were sold in the interview, right? You're going to get fed leads, right? <laughs> that's well and good. Obviously, a lot of brokers will focus on getting their agents up and running, or at least they should, right? They want their agents to be up and running and independent and profitable and successful. But it takes the agent themselves, doesn't it, to do that? That's the reality of the situation. It takes the agent themselves to want that lead generation set up in a place for themselves, right? Some agents will start out working their broker leads and they might get one or two things under their belt, transactions under their belt. Their broker then thinks they've got everything under control and you're like a little bird and you're set out of the, out, out of the nest, aren't you? <laughs> Right? You're like a little bird that's expected to go out and do your own thing and generate business. And then some agents will just freeze. They just freeze, right? Because they never took the time to learn themselves, even from the jump start, how to generate their own leads. And I know you can you can absolutely jump on YouTube. You can absolutely jump on your broker's platform, your training platform, and you could sit there and watch videos until you are blue in the face, right? Now, I don't know about you, but I have definitely invested my share in programs and courses and memberships and coaches, and especially with the boom of all the online digital education. It's easy to buy information that is perfectly packaged for you, right? But it still takes you to sit down and go through the training content, doesn't it? Right? And I don't know about you, but <laughs> you know, I can watch training videos until I'm blue in the face and still have questions, right? And still have questions. Right. You need to find somebody that you can plug into. Obviously, if it's not your broker, you're going to find a mentor or a coach or somebody that you can resonate with, plug into and help get yourself up and running because you can't depend on your broker and brokers can't depend on their agents sometimes, can they? Unless they hit a, you know, a, hit that glass ceiling. I think you need to get really above 25 agents before you can start to really see some momentum in a brokerage. Okay. Just, you know, a mental note there, right? But agents are independent contractors, aren't they? And they need to generate their own business. They need to get themselves up and running. They need to function themselves as a broker, 
You know, if you would think to yourself and start to think like a broker and start to think that, okay, what systems do I need to put in place? What aspects do I need to consider? All right. What messaging am I going to put out? Okay. How am I going to brand myself? How am I going to nurture my audience? How am I going to keep in touch with prospects for five, seven, 10 years? These are the things that you have to consider for yourself. You certainly don't want to depend on your broker's tools for 10 years, right? You need to be up and running with your own tools, okay? You need to be up and running with your own lead generation. Now, we all know that the big Z, right, <laughs> is not going to be particularly a viable tool moving forward. It is today in some markets, it's still a viable tool. Some people are still buying leads from Zillow. <laughs> like they haven't heard the news, right? You know what I mean? Um, and some people are still investing in other lead generation platforms that make it easy, right? They make it easy to buy the leads. But you may or may not be getting leads that resonate with you, okay? Or resonate with your messaging or resonate with what you have to offer, okay? You know, you're just, you're, you're, you're casting a wide, wide net and you're pulling people in. But if they're not really someone that resonates with you, it's, not the same as if you were to have invested in, for example, your own marketing, driving that traffic to your own website with your own messaging, right? And then having someone want to opt in on your website because of what you have to offer. Okay. It's a little bit different. It's a different, it's a different customer. It's a, as opposed to buying leads. Now, you know, in the course of 20 years, yes, I have bought my share of leads. We all kind of start out that way, right? I, you know, we we did a website called FloridaHUD.com for a lot of years, you know, and, uh, you know, it worked well for a while until they pulled the rug out, you know, and split their market in a different direction. And it was no longer profitable for the need to carry those leads. And so at some given point in time, you have to, you know, be, if, 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 if that were my marketing, you know, I, when we depended on those leads coming from that source and we analyzed, oh my gosh, it takes six months, eight months, nine months to analyze, huh, this is no longer productive after you've used it for several years, right? After you bought leads for several years, right? It's no longer viable. Then you're sitting there wondering, what do I do next? Like a lot of people, I see those posts out there all the time. I have a thousand dollars a month to invest in, you know, do I put it into Zillow or OP city or who, right? Who, who do you put it into, right? A thousand dollars a month. Come on, <laughs> put that into your own branding, your own marketing, your own traffic, your own audience. Why do you want to continue to hand over a thousand dollars a month to a company? <laughs> you can do the same for less, much less, half the price. You can drive the same amount of traffic organically and through paid apps for half the price. But when you start to learn attraction based marketing and you start to attract people who are your people, right? <laughs> it's a lot more fun, isn't it? Right? It's a lot more fun. You have fun when you resonate with your customers because they've resonated with you, right? Because they have levitated to you. They haven't clicked on Zillow and gotten bombarded by five different agents. You know, they came to you. All right. They're more loyal, right? They're, they're, you know, you don't always have to worry about that client, you know, getting stolen from you or going in a different direction or choosing someone else because they have resonated with you. They have raised their hand and said, 
you. I choose you, right? <laughs> and that's all with what you put out there. It's all based on what you put out there and how you invite people into your ecosystem, right? We received a call the other day from a prospect that had visited one of our housing groups and he's on our page and, and it, you know, he was on speaker when he called and Jake and I were both talking to him. And that was the first thing that came out of his mouth. He said, I, I don't know who's running your Facebook business page, but they do an excellent job. I mean, they do a great job. He raved about it for three minutes. You know, how, how the content in there is valuable and useful and it isn't just boring listing stuff. You, mean, you know what I mean? You can't just put out boring listing stuff on your business page and expect to attract people that are going to resonate with you on a personal level. Okay. You have to put the right content out on your business page. You have to engage with your people with the right message and you have to nurture them. All right. So if you're, if your systems are not prepared to nurture your audience for years to come, you are missing the boat. Okay. You're missing the boat and you see, some agents will sit there and think, well, I, I can't even, you know, I got to get going. They, they get so concerned about getting going. And I get that. You do need to get going. You do need to get up and running. But you, in the process of getting up and running, you can't afford to discard those prospects or suspects, as I like to call them. You can't afford to discard those people just because they're not ready to buy. All right. You got to know that you're going to be needing to close a transaction two years from now, three years from now, five years from now. And if those people are in your ecosystem, they resonate with you. They love your social media posts. They plug into your email content. You know, they just become super fans, whether they can buy a house now or not. Right. They know people who know people who are buying now. Everybody does right? And everybody buys someday. Okay. So you have to begin to think longer and bigger. You have to think like your broker. Okay. You, if you had to think like your broker and pretend that you had 25 agents to feed, how would you do that? Okay. How would you feed 25 agents? I guarantee you, you won't invest in Zillow or you probably will, or you could. You know, if you really never learned how to generate leads yourself. Okay. All right. If you never really learned how to generate leads yourself, that's the easy thing to do is to buy leads. The hardest thing you'll ever do is learn how to develop business yourself and nurture it. That's the hardest thing you're ever going to learn how to do in this business. Everything else is, everything else is mechanics, right? Everything else is just mechanics. You can fill in blanks on a contract, right? <laughs> you can fill in blanks on a contract and, you know, you can plug it in and you can give it to a transaction coordinator. But if you can't generate that business, you're going to be out of business and you got to learn how to do that without buying it from third party vendors. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I can, you know, I teach you how to do it organically. I teach you how to do it with paid ads. I teach you how to nurture and I teach you how to brand yourself. And I teach you how to market yourself and not just advertise yourself. So that's a little bit about what I do. And what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is we are going to be completely revamping our course, right? And I want you to know, if you're watching this in replay, if you're here with me now, I want you to know that my program, and I think Kelly will attest to this, you know, you don't just get video content, course content, and worksheets, and PDFs, and you're not just left to yourself, okay? You're not just left to your own devices in my program. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that that's the best way for someone to learn. I teach live five days a week. Okay. Five days a week. You have access directly to me 
to get your questions answered. Because as you work through the course content, as you rebrand your business, as you get your email list up and running, okay, as you get your social media audiences in line with what you do and how you serve, okay, all of that is time consuming and it is very personalized, okay? Lead generation is very personal. There isn't any one size fits all. Okay, so if you hear a, you know, an influence out there telling you you can make a million dollars, you know, if you use this system, read, 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 read between the lines, read between the lines. You know what I mean? You got to stop chasing that shiny object. Your market is completely unique to you. So you have to have someone that's going to personally communicate with you and decipher what you're dealing with in your market and help you devise and customize marketing methods that are going to work for you. Because I guarantee you what works in one metropolitan market, what works in Los Angeles or New York or, 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 or Dallas, Texas is not going to work in Mayberry, USA. Okay. So you have to really find what's going to help you drill down to what you're dealing with in your market and help you develop ways that are going to fit your lifestyle, your budget, your tools, your means, your capabilities, right? That's what I offer. <laughs> All right. I teach my program live and no one is ever left behind. No one ever feels that they are behind because you're going to work on a piece of content or material or instruction or task or to do. And this is your next object that you're doing. And then you are going to get help with it personally. Someone else is on a different level. Someone else is doing something different. Someone else is doing something completely different in our, in our program or in our group. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get your customized help, rest assured. Okay. And we are going to launch the new program is going to be launched April 20th, 420. If you understand that reference, you're my people. <laughs> All right. Just so you know, April 20th, we'll be launching the new program. Okay. But we'll be in here teaching and just kind of uh, sharing what we do between now and then. And um, let me know if there's anything you've got questions on. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. I hope remember April 20th, 420, we're going to be launching the new course. And I'm going to really just focus on 101 ways to market your business. <laughs> I think that'll be the theme. I think I'm going to sit down and lay down 101 ways literally to market your business. You think that would be of interest to someone if it were all in one course platform, right? And then you can pick and choose what you want to do, how you want to do it, what you need help with, right? <laughs> I think that'd be good. All right. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you all for joining me today. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye-bye.